if you look at the at eastern uh, Alberta and into Saskatchewan, where they had some single digit yields. They're going to be in a situation again where you're going to have some nutrient carryover because if you did not remove those nutrients from your from the field, there's probably a pretty good chance there's some nutrient carryover. Mm -hmm. So it's important to uh, assess what you've got still in the ground because that's going to have a big impact on next spring's fertilizer program, right? So if you've got lots of nutrients still in the ground, good news is you don't have to apply maybe as much next year for next year's crop. On the other hand, you go to the other extreme where we had areas where we had 15 inches or more of rain. Now, well, first of all, we're going to have monster crops like, like this. And if you look at a canola crop, uh, if you look at a 60, 70 bushel canola crop, it's going to remove about 120 to 125 pounds of nitrogen just in the seed. It's going to remove 55 to 65 pounds of phosphate per acre in the seed. So you're removing some, some pretty good chunks of, of nutrients out of the soil just in harvest.